Bad news. Devin Haney's brand has taken a hit, y'all. Keyshawn Davis is talking spicy. It's disrespectful. He says that he will beat Devin Haney. Not only would he beat Devin Haney, but he's saying it's really an easy fight for him. Like, not even just an easy fight. He says it's a super easy fight. So he's not looking at Devin Haney as much of a threat. And stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll give my thoughts. I'm getting ready in the next one minute to play the clip so you guys can hear it out the horse's mouth from Keyshawn Davis uninterrupted. And then I'll come back and give my thoughts so you guys can hear my breakdown of what Keyshawn Davis. Now, Shushu Carrington was interviewing him, top ranked boxing. They have this new show where a fighter will interview another fighter. This time it was Keyshawn Davis and Bruce Shushu Carrington of Brooklyn. And Carrington asked Keyshawn about different people, including Devin Haney. This is what he had to say. I feel like me and Devin Haney will be a uh, it'll be an easy fight for me, bro. Like super easy, bro. Like, and I know I would stop Devin Haney. Uh, I've been saying this, bro, before the before the Ryan fight, bro. Mm. He just don't got nothing for me. Mm. He got nothing for me. Like, you don't got no power. You got mm. nothing for me to worry about. Like, what are you gonna do to stop me? <laughs> got you. And what I got coming with, you know what I'm saying? I feel like he don't got nothing to even stop me. His defense mm. is not that good. Mm. I got. I feel like I got better defense than him. I know he fought better opponents than me, so you know what I'm saying? So I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, for sure. But I just feel like I got Pro better defense than him. resume tough. No, nah, it is. His resume tough. But you gotta realize he fought a lot of guys that were smaller than him too, bro. Mm. A lot of his guys were smaller than him, and he was saying it in the way in, you're too small. Mm. You know what I mean? So he, he knew, he knew what he was doing, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? So everybody got that that, that process of getting there. Gotcha. So I'm not knocking what he doing. Gotcha. But, um, his guys was just smarter than him, bro, and it was easy for him to get out of the way of you know, you, Devin Haney. I feel like me and Devin Haney will be a, uh, it'll be an easy. So you guys heard it from the horse's mouth. He said it would be an easy fight for him, and he would stop Devin Haney if the two were to fight. Check out the link in the description. Top Rank has put up this interview. And make sure you guys watch it. But no respect. Rodney Dangerfield voice. No respect. No respect, I tell you. There's no respect that Keyshawn is showing for Devin Haney. The only pro thing or complimentary thing that he kind of said about Devin Haney is his resume is better than mine. So I at least like how he admitted that, that Devin does have a better resume than he because that part is definitely true. But, you know, really, my thoughts, they're in two different divisions. But we've heard Keyshawn pop off at other fighters like Teofimo Lopez. And regarding Teofimo, he said he would come up to 140 to fight Teofimo and get busy in that regard. No diddy. So maybe this could happen at 140 pounds. Devin Haney had a bit of a fracas with Eddie Hearns. So we don't know. And, and for the record, Eddie Hearn keeps making it abundantly clear that Devin is not his fighter. If you listen to what Eddie Hearn is saying in recent interviews, he keeps double downing on that. When he was talking about how him and Devin got in the argument over the tickets for the Joshua Dubois fight, he literally was saying that in interviews. He was like, I'm looking after my fighters on my roster, many of which they submitted RSVP requests for tickets and they did it promptly in months before to go to the fight. Devin Haney is not my fighter. This is what he said. Even before that, when the news broke that rematch room did not bid on Devin Haney's mandatory fight, he was ordered to fight Sandor Martin. You had people like, man, dang, I thought Devin and Eddie was cool. Eddie and Matchroom didn't even bid on the fight. And Eddie Hearn, once again, reiterated, he's not my fighter. He said, I'm not in the business to lose money. He said, that's not a fight that DAZN was particularly interested in. It's um, a mandatory. 
He said he basically understands that, but they didn't want to waste money on on that. And it's it's a reality check for Devin Haney that he brought Eddie Hearn along for the Ryan Garcia fight when he really didn't have to because it was a uh, Ryan Garcia's promoter was the lead promoter on the fight. They were the organizers. They were the true promoters of the fight. Golden Boy Promotions. So Devin looks kind of crazy because one, you you fought Ryan even though he was acting crazy, and this these are the scenes of it. But you brought Eddie Hearn, and you're like, I like working with Eddie Hearn, and you know Eddie looks after me, and even with the second set of eyes, you there are still mistakes that were made for whatever reason, whether Eddie Hearn didn't say anything or Bill Haney or whatever. There are a lot of mistakes. No rematch clause, no rehydration clause when Ryan missed weight, didn't cancel the fight, yada, yada, yada. So this is a bad look that I told you guys. Now you guys are starting to see. Devin brought Eddie Hearn along, and now look at him. Eddie's throwing him under the bus like I've been mentioning. And then after this Ryan fight, Devin's stock has clearly plummeted because you're you're hearing even more people show less respect for Devin Haney. Credit to Keyshawn Davis. He did mention and state that, yo, I felt this even before the Ryan Garcia fight. I did hear him say that. He says, my thoughts were the same before the Ryan Garcia fight. I always thought I would beat him. He has nothing for me. He, he also goes on to say in this interview, he can't punch, so he has no power. He has no chin, and he really has nothing for me. He also said, I believe I have a better defense than he does. So, like I said, the Ryan Garcia fight really took a toll because it's boxing. You can't afford to have a night like that, and it causes people to re-examine and almost reimagine everything that they felt about you. That's just the reality of it. And now Devin is in between a rock and a hard spot because you have people underneath you like Keyshawn Davis, and he's talking crazy, saying, I'll stop you. And Devin, basically he's saying Devin is weak and he has nothing for him, and he's, he's a division lower than you. So you're always going to be judged by your peers. You don't see guys underneath better be of calling him out like you could say, oh, David Benavidez said he will fight him. But also David Benavidez is not disrespecting better be of like, oh, he ain't got no power. He ain't got no chin. But this is what Keyshawn is saying about about Devin. Now, I will say this in Devin's defense, if that's what we're going to say, is Keyshawn has a dangerous fight with Lemos, Gustavo Lemos, who gave Richardson Hitchens issues. So he should want to worry about that because that's a dangerous fight. Even though he's coming from 140 to 135, Lemos can crack. He's relentless. And we haven't really seen that style, that level with a Keyshawn Davis. So he will look crazy if he's talking about this because he didn't just talk about Devin Haney. He also said he could beat Tank and Tank's too small and short. So if he's talking all this jive and then he loses, to uh, Lemos, or even if it's controversial or anything, it's going to look bad on his behalf. So I can't wait. You know, this is not my beef. This is not my issue. This is not my quarrel. So I'll let you know what happens. Let me know what you guys think of Keyshawn dissing Devin Haney and saying that Devin's really not like that. No chin, no power, and no defense. And I don't care who says what. That Ryan Garcia fight did this. So it goes to show you, people keep saying, oh, but the Osterine. I get the Osterine. That's why Ryan's suspended. But if people truly thought Devin lost only because he was cheated, then you would think that other pro fighters like Keyshawn Davis would be like, nah, Devin's still formidable. Woo -woo -womty. Ryan's just a big fat cheater. That's the only reason Devin lost. But I think the real recognize the real and what Box of Ego said is true is, I mean, you can blame everything on the Osterine, but there were flaws that were shown in Devin Haney's arsenal. And I don't think you can just say, like, look at him. He's like hugging. He's like bended down on his knees like he proposing to Ryan Garcia. Like, it just looked crazy. This, he gave Ryan too many, like, looks. Ryan got all these, like, Muhammad Ali, 
esque pictures just from this one fight. He's talking crazy, making rap diss songs. This was horrible for Devin. And now you guys are seeing it. 